Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new safe hour. We're jumping in again and this time we are gonna go as... I don't know who we're gonna go as. I haven't yet decided. Um, I think I'm just gonna do a regular gerb run. It's nothing crazy, but it's fun. Uh, unfortunately, spoilers, spoilers, unfortunately, we have lost the streak on the streak save file. It's a bit of a shame, but, but, I can be proud in knowing that I got a 54 win streak, which is much higher than I was anticipating. I thought 30 would kind of be my upper limit, so getting one, um, such a high level of streak, I was, I was really hoping to take it to 100. Did I just get glitched crowned there? God damn, okay, uh, don't think I'm gonna be able to take much use out of that, but I'll try and get to my boss quickly and see. Oh, really? I'll try and get to my boss quickly and see if I can, uh, take advantage, but I doubt that I'll be able to in time. Because I'll have to not only clear this room, I'll have to kill the boss before the minute's up, and I think it's already been around 20 seconds, so... Not a super high chance, but anyways, we're going to jump in and see how we go. Um, as for the question of the day, what's a, what's a mod for a game? It doesn't have to be Isaac, but what's a mod that you've just been absolutely dying to release? What's a mod that's been teased around that you're just, like, waiting patiently for? For me, it's probably the uh, the next, uh, like, the, the Morrowind remake within Skyrim. That seems pretty awesome. That seems like it'd be pretty goddamn cool. Right, let's be quick here. Bible, no thank you. Mum's coin pairs plus enter. Wow, this is a, a whole lot of hot, hot garbage. In fact, I'm just going to grab the spoon, because, yeah, the HP's nice, but all in all, that wasn't, that wasn't great. Anyways, let's keep her going. I was going to maybe grab the Bible just because, but I was like, nah, I'm running out of time. I'm just going to grab what I can. Um, best friend, wow, this is uh, not, a, not a great start. Not a great start. But we do have some uber tiers going on right now. Our tiers are extremely high. I'm hoping we can get some luck-based effects to, uh, to really whack this up another gear. Um, if we can get, like, fruitcake on top of this, that would be... Uh, absolutely splendipitous pulse worm is not not that bad i don't think it really affects that much oh but yeah um i've been having quite a lot of fun today i've been uh, today's it's it's not really my day off but it kind of is basically i've done essentially everything i need to do today throughout the like earlier on this week so i've not really had anything to do today my, my, my job is very much based on results not based on how much time you work so as long as you get the job done you can kind of work the hours you want um, and luckily, I've got everything that I need to do done a bit earlier than expected. So today's kind of a free day. So I've just been playing Call of Duty earlier this morning, and oh my god, I stumbled upon just one of the most enjoyable things uh, that I've ever just played in Call of Duty. I've been playing Warzone, and I found out they added this uh, they added this railgun, which railguns are just always fun weapons when they get added to games or when they're, they're in games. Railguns are just always some of my favourite types of weapons. They add this railgun sniper that has obviously very, very, very high bullet penetration. It can shoot through uh, quite a lot of, like, quite quite thick of a wall um, because it's designed exactly to do that. You have to charge it up to do so, but um, there's also these little grenades you can throw that scan people, um, and you can combo them in quite an interesting way, where you can essentially scan an enemy and then just shoot... Oh, really? That's some very bad hits by me there. Um, you can scan an enemy and then just kind of shoot them straight through the wall and there's little to nothing they can do about it and it's it's been it's been quite enjoyable Ooh, hello intriguing i guess i'll uh pop this as well need my pulse worm back we got a secret room here as well which ooh, rare secret room very rare secret room here these take two bombs each, I believe. Yep. Very rare secret room here. They can give you an, a whole host of different stuff. We got four burn hearts, which pretty good. Uh, pretty good. I don't know if we're going to be able to keep those four burn hearts around for too long. Um, 
but we'll see. But yeah, uh, the, the the Morrowind remake of um, of like within Skyrim is something that I've definitely been looking forward to for a long time. It's still a long ways off from what I hear, but I played the uh, the um, Bruma, I think it was called, which was a remake of of a part like part of one of the other Elder Scrolls games, and the the standard was insane. I actually played it on my YouTube channel. A lot of people probably don't know, but I I start when I started YouTube, I had a a Skyrim series that I played where viewers would vote for what happens in each other episode. I essentially made a choose your own adventure within Isaac. It was a really fun series and a really good, like, in my opinion at least, a really fun idea, really fun concept for a series. But unfortunately I just didn't have the viewer base at the time for it to really gain enough traction to, to have longevity. But we played it for a little while and I, I thoroughly did enjoy it. Um, I think it was quite a fun series and honestly I'd recommend people going back and taking a look at it. It was a little more highly edited. I had like recaps uh, at the start of each episode that like showed uh, what choices were made um, and I had like polls in the comment uh, comments and stuff that people could vote on for the next episode and it was like voting on everything. It was like what I leveled up into, um, where I went next, who I spoke to. I had like little bits for everything and I, I really really enjoyed it and I think I, I obviously I did uh, attempt to bring that back in a Skyrim series at the start of this year. It didn't really gain the traction I was hoping for so I kind of had to let it die which is a shame uh, but I do hope that when I've got a bit bigger of a viewer base to um, to potentially try something like that again. Um, I have heard actually I've been I've been sort of um, looking at some tips uh, from other people in terms of how you branch out in, ter in terms of like new content with YouTube and one thing I didn't actually know you can do is you can actually manually set it up so that you um so that you don't like your, your video doesn't go out to your subscribers it doesn't go into their feed because one of the problems with with doing something like a Skyrim series is that um essentially it will go out to all of my subscribers, which is now like 12,000. And because I mainly play roguelikes and Isaac on this channel, the vast majority of people that watch the channel on a regular basis won't care. And that's absolutely fine. Like, that's not the content they're here to see. I don't mind that whatsoever. Um, but that means that, yeah, the, um, essentially the, the series... Oh, one second. Uh, the, the series dies because YouTube goes... Well, your subscribers aren't clicking on this, so I'm not going to recommend it to anyone. And therefore, it doesn't get recommended anymore. And once it stops getting recommended, it basically just just dies dead in the water. And it, it's definitely a shame. Um, I, I, what I might try and do is I might try and re-upload the Skyrim episodes I did make, if, I, if I've still got them. I can't remember if i still got them. But um, I might try and re-upload them like on a, on a new channel, on a fresh channel or something, and see if they do any better. M my main reason for it is, one, as I said, I do actually really enjoy playing it. And I feel like having a YouTube series is, is a good excuse for me to play it. <laughs> sort of thing, but um, one of the other reasons is that I, I, I've seen quite a lot of people playing like modded Skyrim and getting some really, really good views on like really low subscriber, uh, like subscriber amount channels. Very good card there. Um, some some channels that have like under 500 subs are getting like three, four k views an episode on Skyrim playthroughs, and that's that's always the annoying thing with uh, with YouTube. It's like I'll have a bigger subscriber base, so more more initial potential viewers, and I'll make quality content the same as other people, and it it'll just die sometimes. It'll just it'll just go nowhere, and it's a real shame sometimes, especially when it's like Skyrim is a game that I really love, and a Skyrim series is something that I'd be really passionate about and would love to. Uh, I'd love to have it as like a mainstay of the channel, but it's just not not viable, unfortunately. One of the big parts about YouTube is you have to have a niche. And if you try to venture outside of that niche, normally it's not going to go great for you. Um, so it, it does kind of, unless you've got a really big subscriber base already, it kind of pens you into one place and one type of content, which luckily for me is content I really enjoy making. Um, wow, we are getting some hot garbage in our item rooms right now. Hot, hot garbage. Items haven't been ideal. Um... But yeah, so sometimes you do end up getting... Do you know what? I probably would be down to go to the Stephen floor. It's been a little while, but um, if I can gather, gather up some more money, I don't think it'd be a bad idea. Um, I've got a lot of things that I'd like to trade here. But it gives me, if it gives me an active item, I will throw down. I will absolutely fucking throw down. Um, 
But yeah, it, it is a little bit annoying with YouTube like that, the way that you... It, it's, it's very difficult to branch out into new things without it getting kind of shit on. And it, 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 it definitely is a demotivator, like... For example, when I did do my Skyrim series, the first episode obviously reached a wider audience and got like one and a half K views, which is pretty fucking good for a new series on my channel. Anything above one K is is pretty pretty good, really, in general. Um, and then uh, the second episode did like 300, 400 views. Not bad, not bad. Like that that's decent maintenance views for me. If a, if a series is getting above 400, 500 views, it's a decent maintenance series. Um, but then, the third episode, it got like 8 views in like 24 hours, which is ridiculously abysmal. Like, like, unbelievably bad. And it's like, although I, I, I do make content for, for like me, I make it because I enjoy it. I also do want to put out content that people are watching and enjoying, so it's definitely a demotivator to like continue a series when it just doesn't do very well. It's like, I, I'd kind of like to do a series on like playing through Red Dead Redemption. Um, potentially like on the second channel or something, but at the same time I don't want to do it if it's not something people are gonna watch because if that's the case I'd rather just like play it to myself sort of thing and enjoy the experience myself But like, another one is uh, is Silk Song. I'm probably gonna play Silk Song when that comes out And that's probably gonna be a game that probably doesn't do too hot on the channel at least to begin with um, Especially especially because I'll be playing it on release and the vast majority of people that enjoy Silk Song are going to be going and playing it themselves. I, I highly doubt many people are going to be watching it. And I still want to do the series anyways, because it's a game I, I really enjoy, and it was one of the OG series on my channel that I, that I really, really got into. And it's still actually, I think that series really holds up to this day. I think people can, if you'd like to, go back and take a look at that series and, and still thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy it. Um, I mean, I don't I don't go back and watch many of my videos. I, like, I don't, I don't like watch many of my videos back, but... That is definitely a series that I can go back and watch a, a video of time to, from time to time and um, have, a, have a pretty good time. I think I think the uh, I think the the not knowing and sort of the mystery of, of learning a new world in a game like that is is really um, it's quite unique. I mean, obviously many games have that kind of trope and have that kind of style, but it's just not it's not really the same, is it? Like Hollow Knight is just a whole. A whole new lore and world, and it's so big and different. Exploring something like that for the first time is just a really enjoyable, really enjoyable time. And so that game was like really fun to explore on YouTube, especially with the comment section like helping me out. Like no one really, like everyone was pretty good. No one really gave me any major spoilers, uh, but a lot of people were quite helpful and kind of letting me know if I'd missed something and how I could maybe go about finding it without directly telling me. That, that was quite nice. I was able to explore a lot more of the additional secrets that the game had to offer. Um, you want Cat and Ninetales? Are you fucking loco, bro? I mean, at least you gave me a soul heart. That, that, Cat and Ninetales, man. I've got such bad, like, such bad items that I want to get rid of, and you're asking at this time... To take away my cat and nine tails. That is not gonna happen, broski. Oh god. These little ghosties are, uh, are cool but annoying. Hey, brother Bobby, that's one I can trade. And that is a pretty good upgrade to our familiar, I'd say. Right, I gotta find secret room as well, remember. Secret room on this floor is uh, particularly quite good. Yeah, YouTube's definitely a, a funny old system. I do wish it, it was a little less punishing um, to, like, branch out and a little less punishing to, like, do something different. It'd be nice if I could, uh, if I could try new things and experiment with different games and YouTube not punish me as much for it, you know? How do I... How am I meant to be killing this guy? Guessing I have to use a bomb on him, maybe? I don't know. Binky? Yet another tears up, baby. Yet another lovely tears up. Good. Okay. Boss is ready, but there's probably a few more tr um, trade deals around. 
that I want to find out. Thank you, Seraphim, for that beautiful herming shot that you provided there. Lovely. And also, yeah, as I said, we want to find the secret room, too. Good old Seraphim. Seraphim does a, a well good job. Right, secret room's likely to be right here. Um, from the walls that I've seen thus far, it seems likely. Don't go in yet, though. You want it to be the last thing that you do, otherwise you can't re-enter. It's been a while since we've been to this floor. A mighty while indeed. A fun area, though. Yeah, I just, just wish it was slightly more viable on regular runs. It's, it's one of those ones that, like, you just don't want to be going to on every, every run. But it's got some really cool mechanics, as you can clearly see. And just the music's great, the theming's great. A lot of effort went into it. Just a shame it falls flat in some areas. Stuff like that, those rooms are really cool. Liking the fact that we've got Pinhead going on here, that's very useful. Who you call a Pinhead? Right, good, good. Should have one more of the trade deals around. There it is. And you want my spoon. Do you know what? The speed up's nice, but I'm going to gamble. Okay, apparently I can't give you the spoon. It's kind of annoying. I don't know why that is. Have the spoon. There you go. And you give me... Yeah, that's a pretty good item, actually. I'll definitely take that. Good, good, good. Pretty happy with that. And we lost our binky, unfortunately. Cool, okay. Let us go and enter our secret room. We have plenty of money to spend here. So hopefully there's some good stuff to either take back or gain a new. Either way, I'm happy. And then the boss will give us a damage up as well. I think it's a damage plus HP up that you get from this boss. It's, a, it's the same one every single time. Which I think is also a nice quirk of this floor. Guaranteed damage and HP up. Hello. Did not mean to buy that. Thank you. I don't know what the first thing I bought even was, I'll be honest. Be nice to buy back the, uh, the wooden spoon, but... Yeah, I had a feeling the game wasn't going to allow me that pleasure. That's a bit of a shame, because we're very, very close to it, and there's no way of us getting it. We got a wisdom card. That's what I bought, I think, by accident, so I guess we'll use it and see if there's a super, super secret room on this floor. There is. Unfortunately, we've got enough money in here, but it doesn't matter. Oh! ah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we got really lucky then and he was still going to stay around, but sadly, we did not. Right, anyways, it's boss time. Excuse me? Oh, there you go. It's very confused what happened there. I've got to remember this boss screams as well. If I forget that, it'll, it'll shock me. It'll give me the old spook. There we go. Yeah, there you go, look. It's, it's actually a really, really, really good item to grab. I think that's something I should consider about coming to this floor more often. Um... Give that a go. Lowers our fire rate a good bit, but we have a book that increases it, and we have other ways of gaining fire rate, so... I can't remember if this is the one that can hurt us, though. It might be. But damage increase from it is, is pretty good. As you can clearly see. And we've got our book ready and raring to go for uh, fireworks and fire rate. Both very good. But also, we've got a little grim buddy as well. He's he's going to be nice. There you go, buddy. Yeah, this is this is quite a lot of extra damage. I'm glad I took this, even with the big fire rate down. I think it's worthwhile by quite a bit. 
Don't think the arcing tears actually makes any difference apart from visual. There we go. Good old lover's card, why not? Yeah, we can hurt ourselves with it, okay. Good to know. I thought this was the one where we could hurt ourselves. You'd have to be a little more careful than normal. It's a bit annoying. This is Necro 2. We still haven't seen our item rooms. So we should try and find that first. Item room, item room. Where art thou, item room? But yeah, so one thing I was going to ask is, with, with the streak ending, so I am I am definitely up for just, just restarting and doing another streak, but another thing I wanted to ask is, the, the new save file, as we call it, has very much kind of just become our other series. Like, we don't really go for completion marks that much anymore, because we've got the vast majority of them, apart from the annoying ones. Um... There isn't really that much left for us to do. So basically my question is, would people rather me continue this as it is, as the new save file as it's called? Um, or would people rather me just just like um, duplicate my other save files so we have all the remaining unlocks that we need and all the modded items unlocked and then just, just try doing like random stuff. Like playing modded characters and stuff. Eee, it's turning. Um, like, playing more modded characters and doing, like, deleted streaks and things like that. Like, what would people rather see? Would people rather see more completion mark-esque stuff? Or would people rather see what we used to do, which is kind of just, like, regular runs, where we play, like, whoever we want, we play modded characters, and we go for, like, different stuff like that. I I'm just curious as to, as to what people would prefer out of the two. Because um, I think the, the, the sort of... Pretense, 10% chance to fire a Herming Tear that inflicts bleed. Ooh. Um, I think the kind of pretense of unlocking stuff has kind of very much gone away with this series for, for quite some time now. I don't think we really uh, focus on that aspect of the series all that much. I think we kind of have like a, a vanilla streak series and a modded character series is how, is how I kind of feel the, uh, the toss-up is between them. So... We keep on doing the streak as kind of like our min maxi try hard, uh, playing as vanilla characters, and then we have this series, which is our uh, weird taking risks and taking more risks, I say, and playing as modded characters more often. That's kind of how I see how, how I see it progressing. But I just want to know if you guys feel the same way. Also, by the way. I do realize that as of late, I've not been particularly good with replying to comments. I apologize about that, but do rest assured, I still read all of the comments. Um, even if I don't get round to like hearting and and, re uh, and replying to them as I normally would, um, it it just that just takes a lot of time. There's some comments that come up in the moment, and if I remember to, I'll reply to them straight away. But the rest of them normally, I just do a scan over the video at the end of the night and read them. And sometimes if there's one that, uh, that requires a particular answer or one that, that, like, particularly I feel like replying to in the moment, then I will. But do rest assured, your comments are being seen. Um, I'm, I'm just, I think, I, 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 I was going through for a long time trying to make sure I replied to every single comment. And I'll be honest, I think I've actually reached the, the point in my channel's size where that is getting to be slightly unmanageable. Um, and I, I, I'm... I'm not going to keep putting the pressure on myself to continue that because I think that it's it's giving me more fatigue than enjoyment. I'm reading your guys' comments and like replying to them is meant to be something that I enjoy doing and having to spend like 3 hours every couple of weeks replying to comments. I know that doesn't sound like a lot of time, 3 hours every couple of weeks, it doesn't at all. But having to like spend that time just basically reading through hundreds of comments and replying to them all at mass is definitely a difficult task and I, I what I should really do is just get into a better habit of replying to them each night rather than letting them stack up and it'd be more manageable but also that's that can be difficult too you never know what you're going to be doing um and it's it's super easy to just let it get away from you so I definitely apologize about that but do rest assured your comments are being seen and I still very much appreciate the um very much appreciate what you guys are saying and those of you who uh comment every episode and 
always give me interesting information or like feedback on on things is it's it's it's, it's definitely appreciated and it, i don't know it just it just makes the view count feel so much more real when there's a good comment a good lively comment section like if you if you end up getting like i don't know 2,000 views on a video, but the video only gets like four comments. It, the 2,000 views just feel so hollow. Like, it's not like it's a bad thing. It's still good to get those views, but like, they, yeah, they just feel kind of hollow. But when when you have like a video that's like 500 views, but like 16, 17, 18 comments, it just makes it feel so much more real. And like, it puts a sort of name to those people sort of thing, if you know what I mean. And I like that. I like seeing that. So definitely keep it up with the... um. Definitely keep it up with the the comments, and I will try my best to get to them when I can. Right, seems like we're uh, we're on a roll for this run at the moment. We are demolishing. Jeez, my love. Ooh, every thirty shots is a very good one. Every thirty shots is a charming icicle shot. We fire quite a lot of shots, so every 30 should be reasonably uh, quick. God damn it, I hurt myself again. And again. Can't really get away from that if there's an enemy right up on me. What's a holy one in here as well? Just hope we uh, trips ourselves the right direction. Yes, we did. Nice. Lovely stuff. Devil deal. I'll grab that bad boy. And I think we're just going to go straight on up, right? Yeah. Good. It's just been a fun old run. A fun old run. Oopsie. Again, keep hurting myself. My bad. The snake eyes is wigging me out, having my tears be so large. Hopefully I don't damage myself too much more with my fires, because that wouldn't be uh, ideal for survival, I wouldn't think. You can see how much we're freezing stuff. Dude, I think I hit myself again there. It's just gonna it's just gonna keep happening. It's it's very hard to avoid. I'm trying my best, but it's not always plausible. I say it like I need to apologize to you guys, but it's my run, so <laughs> I don't wanna get hit. I'll get hit. Ivy Occult's not great for us actually here. Luckily we have a lot of burn hearts to work with here, which is good. And this guy keeps giving me real good shit. We like real good shit. Fill that up with an extra red heart. Lovely. Yeah, the burn hearts are very helpful here. Come on, don't go invincible now. Yeah, prick. He's dead. Hey, there's the soul heart I was looking for. I never really care about the angel item, because that guy, like, very rarely gives me any angel items that I actually want. It's always shit I don't care about. I managed to kill one of them before I killed these enemies, which is not supposed to happen. Oopsie daisy, I guess. Also, I started watching the Fallout series um, yesterday as well. I think I might have spoken about this in the, uh, the episode I recorded yesterday. But yeah, it's, it's super nice to be able to have a TV show adaptation of a, of a game again, like The Last of Us, that's just actually fucking good. Really, I've been enjoying it quite a lot. I quite enjoy the Fallout games. I need to go back and replay them, to be honest. I've not played, uh, I've not played Fallout 4 in a really long time. And I've not played New Vegas in a little while either. And uh, now that I have my new PC, I can do some pretty gnarly modded setups for uh, for those games with some pretty crazy stuff. Don't know if that'll actually do anything for this dude. Okay. That's an interesting room design. 
I'm not quite sure if that was meant to happen. I think it was. Feels like that was intentional design. Oh, really? Right, we are here. I actually think I don't want to use Mum's knife yet. My Mum's knife card, that is. I think I'm doing a mighty good job with this. Beautiful stuff, right. Oh, dude, Eye of the Occult with this fire fucking spewer item is awful. Hitting myself constantly. Good old fool card. Right. Holy shit, that's a it's a lot to deal with there, game. It's a lot to deal with. Oh my lordy lord. I got an eternal heart from somewhere. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> this is impossible. I'm hitting myself so goddamn much. <laughs> Trying my best, but it's not going so easily. We'll see if we live. We'll see if we live. I'm not super hopeful. I just think I'm going to hurt myself too much before I get there, but you never know. We might get some really good items on the way as well. That's something that could help us out quite nicely. Oh, I forgot about that. That was close. Ooh, we got all the dark versions, all the dark boys. The demon daddies. Luckily they die pretty goddamn quick. Looks like we're going the right way now as well. Actually, we, we literally have to be. Good. Hey, Effigy helped us out there. Can't really help us out in too many of these rooms because a lot of my bosses in them, but we could do some stuff here and there. Uh, I've tried to get the luck upgrades, the permanent luck upgrades, but I'm not always getting lucky enough to get that in time. Ow. Once again, I've hit myself. What's going on in this room? Is there a ghost left? Yes, there is. Did not realise. Yeah, I'm probably going to watch more of the Fallout series tonight. Quite looking forward to it. I'm loving uh, Walton Goggins as well. Damn, that guy is an incredibly good actor. Why has my little burn boy given me a burn heart yet? Normally he drops a decent amount of burn hearts, and this time... Uh, also, these guys seem to not take damage to fire, which is interesting. Oh no, okay. That was weird. Come on, boss, where art thou? You should give me a soul heart, right? Nope, just infestation. Not ideal. Yeah, this is. Oh, some skipped rooms here is nice. Okay. We've got a decent chance of winning here. Golden Trinkets Plus is having an error. Why? The damage we're dealing is very nice. Also, the Wisps are actually very good too. Right, there you go. We got it. Beautiful stuff. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Definitely a fun run. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.